story right now at five alabama is taking part in the single largest operation to crack down on synthetic drugs or spice alabama is one of the 25 states participating in the nationwide effort called operation synergy more than 35 local state and federal authorities served hundreds of warrants to drug manufacturers wholesalers and retailers in 10 counties alabamians should be aware that synthetic drugs are dangerous to their health and as governor I'm going to do everything I can to rid Alabama of these types of drugs. Governor Bentley says law enforcement has been preparing for the operation for months. Uh, this operation is the latest effort by the governor to crack down on spice. In 2011, he signed an executive order allowing law enforcement agencies to seize the drug. Well, the crackdown on spice has already begun here in Mobile. Yeah, local 15's Christina Zverjako showed us yesterday how a local business owner was arrested. Police say he was selling spice right across the counter in his store. She joins us now from police headquarters. Christina, Chief James Barber says it's almost an epidemic. Kim Spice has really become a hot topic for Mobile Police Department, and despite making several arrests, they're saying the problem is still bigger than ever. When it comes to synthetic marijuana in Mobile, the police department say they are in unchartered waters. This, this particular spice that we're seeing on the streets right now is unlike the spice we saw a month ago. And so there is a, a lethal medical emergency that's occurring on the street. Police Chief James Barber says that although the department has dealt with spice in the past, the problem has never been as severe before. Something that the Mobile Drug Education Council Director Virginia Guy says she agrees with. This is the largest public health threat related to substance abuse that I've seen. Along with area hospitals, the DEC has been seeing firsthand just how dangerous spice is for a human body. We've seen a lot of vomiting. We've seen a lot of, um, of what we call drug-induced hallucinations, drug-induced psychosis, where a person acts like that they are actually in a psychotic state. The severity of the problem has caused some speculation that the spice retailers here in Mobile are selling a bad batch or that the drug is made with a new, stronger recipe. We're still trying to get our hands around the chemical agents that's actually causing the issues that we're having now. What we do know is that we've seen this uptick in people showing up at the emergency rooms. You're seeing an effort on our part to deal with something that, that's really arisen over the past few weeks. Anyone with information about the use or sale of spice is encouraged to call Mobile Police Intel, and we will post that phone number on our website at local15tv.com. Reporting live in Mobile, Christina Zverjako, Local 15 News.